Welcome back to my channel lovelies. Watch me glam up for a client. While I do that, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite pro makeup tips with you along with a few fun and relatable stories from my makeup journey. Trust me, some of these stories are hilarious. So stick around. Before we continue, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you. Skin prep is everything. This step is non-negotiable. You want a smooth base and that starts with hydrating your skin. I always tell my clients, think of your skin like a canvas. If it's dry or textural, your makeup will never sit right. Speaking of skin prep, let me tell you a story about this time I skipped moisturizing for an event. Big mistake. I was rushing, didn't prep my skin properly and by the end of the day, my foundation was patchy and cakey. I was horrified. Lesson learned, never skip skin prep no matter how late you are. Now onto foundation, here is a pro tip. Always blend your foundation into your neck to avoid that awkward line where your face and neck are different colors. We've all seen it and we've all been there. Just take an extra few seconds to blend it down. Trust me, it makes all the difference. I remember the first time I did my makeup for a friend's wedding. I thought I looked flawless until I saw the photos afterwards. My face was three shades lighter than my neck. Since then, blending is my best friend. Don't let the flash photos catch you off guy. It's time to contour. The key to a good contour is subtlety. You don't want those ash on blended lines. I like to focus on the cheeks, jawline and a bit on the nose to give the face some definition. And here is a trick. Less is more. You can always build it up but if you apply too much at once, it's hard to tone it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Natural like... <laughs> That. So see this one because with what I'm doing now, so I'm just doing like a, a uniform, something seamless. So that way when I'm alight and everything just kind of give you that. Is it what is it what's the money? It's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> it's already given. Well like that, you, you, let, you, me, you, let me not make you let me not make you like you pay. No, I don't want to, I don't want to make you feel too good. Oh, yes, when you finish, then I'll now wash you. Oh, God. So you're I not saying that you're doing too much. I want to keep you humble. <laughs> I once had a client who was nervous about contouring because she thought she'd end up looking like she had stripes on her face. I told her, don't worry, blending is key. And when we finished, she looked in the mirror and couldn't believe how natural it looked. Now I'm setting my concealer and foundation with powder. Setting your under eye areas with powder before baking have several benefits. One of them is smooth base. Applying light layer of setting powder first helps to smooth out fine lines and texture, creating a better base for the baking process. I just felt relaxed. Really I'm going over with a skin tone powder to blend out ash lines, giving me a smooth base, you know, followed by contour and then blush. The normal routine that I would normally do. Nick. Mm. Yes. A baby girl. A baby girl. Super Wonderfully and beautifully made.
Now I'm baking. One rule of baking your face is to press the powder into the skin and let it sit for at least five to 10 minutes. This allows the heat from your skin to set the makeup, locking it in for a long lasting crease free finish. After letting it set, gently dust off the excess with a fluffy brush for a smooth flawless finish. Now for the brows, I always tell people your brows are sisters, not twins. They don't have to be identical. I like to fill them in lightly with small hair-like strokes and then brush through to blend everything. Let's move on to eyeshadow. My number one rule, blend, blend, blend. Ash lines are a no-no in any look. You want your colors to seamlessly transition from one to another. Also, here is a fun pro tips. If you ever overdo it, grab a clean blending brush and soften the edges. It's a lifesaver when you've gone a little heavy with that dark shade. I've been there and I've done that too, so this is a lifesaver. So for the rest of the makeup, I did it off camera because my lighting wasn't it for me today. The light was going off and on. I'm, I'm sure you noticed it in the video, you know. So yeah, there you have it. Full glam look for a client. I hope you picked up some helpful tips along the way. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment below. Thank you so much once again. See you in my next video. I love you. Bye.